Hi and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to register for the Cengage SAM lab system. We are going to start by navigating to our SAM login page. We can do this by going to our Blackboard course, clicking on My SAM Labs, or simply going back to a browser and typing in the URL, which is sam.cengage.com. And when you arrive at the login page, you will have an option here to log in with existing credentials, or you can press the New User button. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to New User, and now we are asked for an eight-digit or combination of characters and digits institutional key. This key for our class is on the screen right now, T206-2236. So once you type this in, we'll go ahead and press Submit. This identifies our campus, and we can press OK. All right. Now we are presented with an option to uh, either enter the key code which came with your textbook or to enter this key code later. And so if you already have the textbook uh, code, it will come in a separate envelope uh, in a, a paper a form. You can go ahead and enter it right here. As you do, please remember that zeros and O's look similarly. Uh, whereas zeros are usually with a slash across them, and uh, O's, capital O's, um, are more rounded. So anyway, those are some of the uh, typos that might uh, occur here. But we'll go ahead and say enter later. Uh, perhaps you're still waiting for financial aid to come through, or you just didn't make it to the, to the bookstore before the first class. You can go ahead and say enter later. This is going to be okay for the first couple of weeks of the class. So now it's time to enter our information. And to, by the way, the information I'm entering now will later be deleted. So this is for uh, dental purposes only, but I'll go ahead and enter my name. Oops, there's the initial last name goes right here. And let's uh, enter an email address. I will uh, use uh, uh, another email address uh, like this. Please make sure that you are using your official school email address. So likely your email address is going to end in mail.gbsu.edu. Okay. If you do have a Gmail address or a Yahoo address, uh, that's okay. We would like you to use the official uh, email, which is also going to be your username. And so we'll go ahead and retype it here. All right, and to now we'll select the password. All right, I have a password selected. The next place to uh, fill in will be the Blackboard ID. This should be your login uh, to your Gmail system. So it will be the first part of your um, email address. So please make sure that this is uh, filled out uh, accurately because this is how we'll be able to move grades from the SAM system to the Blackboard system. Okay, so with these fields filled out, um, we'll go ahead and uh, select the secret answer. And this looks great. We'll go ahead and say save. So now we are going to confirm and we are moving to the next stage where we have terms of conditions. We'll go ahead and uh, uh, read through this, uh, take our time to perhaps uh, copy and paste into a separate email so you can uh, study it even afterwards, and then we'll say, uh, I agree. Okay, and so this takes us to the SAM system itself, but at this point it is all blank. And the reason why it's blank is because you are not yet associated with a particular course. So now we are ready to proceed. Instead of clicking on the Here button, which actually is going to take you to Instructions, we are going to try to navigate our way around this ribbon. And right now, 
the uh, menu is actually hidden behind the ribbon. So the trick is to click on the Sections tab. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Click on the Sections tab, and you might need to scroll down a little bit in order to see the Join a Section button. And that's what we're looking for. So again, what we did is we clicked on the Sections tab right next to Activities, and then we scroll down to see Join a Section button. From here, we are going to see all the classes offered uh, inside of this system uh, by our department. So in order to find the correct section that you have registered for, uh, it'd be easier for you to go ahead and select the name of the faculty member. Now you might see that uh, uh, the dropdown is a little jumpy in my browser. So what I can do is I can actually click Refresh, and this is going to reload the page, and now I can operate this dropdown a little bit easier. So I'll go ahead and uh, select uh, my name. And now, as you can see, uh, your selection is uh, simplified. Please make sure that you select the correct section that you registered for, because the due dates might be different in another section, and the exams that you will be taking will have unique passwords for the time that the exam is taken and for the section. These exams will be proctored in class. And finally, your grades uh, will be integrated with a Blackboard a section. So, uh, as you can see, it's in your best interest to, to make this selection carefully right now. Uh, in order to make a selection, you actually have to click on the little button that's uh, hiding uh, way to the right. If you just click on the section, you will get this little description. And uh, what we really want to do is scroll over to the right and select the section. So now we are added to the section. I know that because when I go to my sections, I can see a single section and automatically we were accepted into the section. All right, from here, let's go back and click on activities. Select activity list. And now under activity list, I can see tasks which are listed for me. Now, please note that some activities are already turned on and they will turn blue, which means that you can work on them and the due date is going to be listed in the due date column. Also, please note that there are buttons across the top of your screen which turn uh, orange or black as you click on them. And these are filters which are going to display certain assignment types. So if at times you are missing something you were expecting on this list, make sure that these buttons are uh, selected appropriately. Okay, so now once you purchase your textbook, you can add the code for the class by either clicking on Add Product in the upper right-hand corner of your screen once you're logged in, or each time when you log in from now on, and I'll demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and uh, type in my uh, user ID. All right. I'll put in my password, say login, and note please that the counter here is going to show you how many days you have left in this grace period without the code, and then you'll press enter later in order to proceed to the homework. So this completes our registration process. I hope that uh, you will enjoy working with Sam. Again, under activity list, you'll see the main portion of the class. Again, thank you very much, and uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy the class.